Hello, everyone. Welcome to our bi-weekly or, or less frequently nerd letter talk discussion where uh, myself, Elena Perfilio, and um, my partner, Paul Moderman, discuss the uh, topics for our upcoming issue of the Boring Enterprise uh, Nerd Letter. So we prepared for you um, our evil plans for, for what we're going to write about next time. And um, I will share first, and then, then Paul, it, uh, it will be your turn to show your stuff. All right, as usual, just trying to share my screen. There we go. So we, we usually put three stories each in the newsletter, but in these conversations, we sometimes have bonus content. Mm -hmm. um, so my subjects for the upcoming issue would be number one, I plan to write about uh, our data development history in SAP ecosystem. Um, wow. We yeah we have seen some blogs on SAP communities that are a little bit weird because there are now these days many ways to create our data services from SAP because there is some history where we started where we uh, where we are at right now and I think there is some confusion what is appropriate for for what for what mm -hmm. case. So I just want to offer an overview of what what has been historic, historically available and why or why not one should be still using some old stuff and why or why not you should be using new stuff as, as long as it's available. So that's that's really boring subject, but um, I hope it's, you know, it will. <laughs> you, you, I could share with you a resource actually. Uh, yeah. Back in like, 2015 or something like that, mm -hmm. I wrote a piece for SAP Professional Journal oh. about OData Fancy. and its history and how it, it should be more than just like a theory, like yeah. enabler kind of thing. Yeah. I'll find that. I'll find the link to that. So, I mean, awesome. I'm sure it's probably awesome. aged out of existence. Now. Maybe it's not even up anymore, but I have a copy. So I think I even have the hard like copy in the magazine awesome. that it was in. Awesome. So anyway, so I can share that with will... you too. We'll take a copy. We'll put it in uh, in a frame, and we'll <laughs> we'll sell it to our, our subscribers <laughs> for a reasonable price. <laughs> right. Yeah. By the way, the the funny thing is, is that that magazine, at least I don't know if it even exists anymore. Mm. The price was not reasonable. It's mm. like thousands of bucks to have a subscription wow. in that magazine. Wow. So yeah. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. Why not there anymore? Definitely. <laughs> All right. So next. Next subject was actually suggested by a very good uh, friend and SAP mentor, uh, Tammy Polas. It's an oh. article in a in a German magazine that was originally in German, and uh, because it has so, so many awful ads and pop-ups, what I did, I unleashed Google Translate on it, ah, and, nice. and then I just converted it into PDF so that I can I can have a workable document. So it's a, it's an interesting article. It it kind of uh, echoes what DSEC has been saying before and what are not just CEOs, but in this case, CIOs are also talking about right now. It's, uh, well, is there, <laughs> clearly, I mean, title is there end-to-end -end focus at SAP. Um, is is kind of lacking, and there isn't always uh, business use, uh, business value is not always clear for all the oh, stuff yeah. that's coming up. So I will cover kind of my hot takes on on this article, and uh, yeah, I guess I guess we'll have two pieces to to offer our subscribers for for reasonable fee. This is translated PDF document. Guys, yeah. this just that's just value for your money just right awesome. there. Yeah, so. awesome. Yeah, we bring value. Unlike we, SAP, <laughs> we, we, we bring we, we bring we, actual. We take value. all those millions of subscription dollars and we apply them. Yep. We bring value to our readers. Yep. In that way. <laughs> yep. Great value from your subscription. <laughs> yeah. Right. And my third subject it's a. Uh, it's again a YouTube video that I stumbled upon uh, rather randomly, and uh, it's called Code Like Google. So I was kind of interested just by this title. I mean, Google is a big, big company, so yeah. I want to be rich like Google. So what, what do I code like? And um, obviously, it is not uh, suggestions for ABAP developers, but I found some, some items that were interesting to me that I think we would be wise to adopt in ABAP and SAP development. But some items actually made me think like, thank 
goodness that we don't have to deal with this with ah. this crap in our world. Mm. One of them being that stupid spaces versus tabs. Oh yeah, which, which every I think a recipe developer just uh, hearing this and it's like, is this some kind of present joke? I'm so rich to understand because it's 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 a literally non-issue in SAP world. Yeah. We have pretty printers that takes care of it and uh, just just not the thing. But but obviously many I think many hours of many arguments have been have been lost in non SAP world. Blood has been shed over blood, exactly. blood has been shed. <laughs> so these are my three kind of uh, slightly boring slash exciting subjects. Um all right. And over to ah, over to you, me. Paul. All right, here comes the screen share where I Yay. find my browser and I click share. Boop, 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 and boop, there boom. it is. So <clears throat> first up for me, um I've covered SAP stuff here. I've covered other stuff. Obviously, in the enterprise space, Oracle is a big player too. Mm. And I haven't turned my attention to what Oracle has been doing. At least in my sort of sphere of knowledge, Oracle has been a little bit more quiet in terms of their generative AI stuff. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do is there's some recent announcement, relatively recent, you know, end of last month, and some other things available about what Oracle is doing in the space. I have a feeling having having looked through that, it's going to greatly resemble what the, how do you want to put this? Like, I, there's like, I don't mean this in a derogatory way, but like the places that don't create the LLMs, the generative AI, but they apply it to stuff, Oracle seems to be rhyming with that quite a lot here. So, but I want to look at it deeper and kind of figure out all the feature tick boxes and that kind of stuff. Cause there might be some important differences between Oracle and SAP or Oracle and Microsoft and whatever yeah. the case may be <clears throat> kind of, uh, I mean, I don't know. I started, I don't know. I, Yelena, I don't know what to say. Like, <laughs> I, it's just going to be, kind of, yeah. it's just going to be part of what I write about yeah. at least one article per time at this time, maybe even two, depending what I pick here. Um, I, I can't escape it. I just yeah, I, I'm yeah, gonna I just beg for forgiveness rather than try to <laughs> no, it, try to change here. But yeah, it's like it's it's everywhere. So yeah, we, we we're kind of casually have been keeping our eyes on on Oracle because yeah. we were not just about SAP, and that's yeah. uh, another another value for our subscribers. I'm I'm kind of curious. It might be a stupid question. Does Oracle have their equivalent of SAP BTP? They they must have, but they definitely. Yes. Like you said, have been rather yeah. quiet about it. Oracle Oracle has cloud platforms, and they mm -hmm. have actually some kind of... Oracle has even uh, more... The, Oracle's cloud offerings more closely resemble the Microsoft Google mm -hmm. cloud offerings oh, than okay. they do SAP's cloud offerings. In other words, Oracle's cloud offerings are going to use Oracle's infrastructure oh, okay, as right, their right. base, right? So they they can offer a little bit more soup to nuts, mm -hmm. right? SAP is kind of at the top of the, like you're not going to buy, yeah. you're not going to rent yep. a server from SAP, yeah, right? But you could from Oracle, yeah, and so that that's sense. kind of a slightly different thing there. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. <laughs> so there's so there's that. Staying in the lane of generative AI a little bit at least, SAP announced that they're investing in some more stuff, and which kind of makes sense too when you consider. Like their deep, deep research is not going to be producing this stuff, right? For generative AI, they're going to go out and try to get value from other people who are doing the deeper, deeper research and the productization of it, which so makes sense for SAP. Mm -hmm. um, the it's looking at three major uh, generative AI products, and these days, even if you go look at these things, like if you <laughs> if you defocus your eyes. You kind of can't tell which one is which a little yeah. bit. You know what I mean? Because the, the space is just so new. And I think this clearly represents, I don't know if you ever saw like Silicon Valley, the show where mm -hmm. the, the, the main characters in the show, the, they have their first angel like or their first yeah. investor. Yep. And they're like, oh, it's great. And then someone later, someone tells them, yeah, your startup is one of like 10 mm. that this guy is investing in for the exact yeah. same thing, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. So it's like, this clearly also represents kind of a, I don't know if you want to call it hedging or whatever. Like mm -hmm. that's the way the investment game goes. Yeah. Is like yeah. um, we're gonna have several in our portfolio of like roughly the same thing, mm. and just whoever kind of survives, great for us, right? So, so yeah. there's that. So we'll give a mm. 
give a little quick overview of those different things there and some of what some of the details here in what the strategy is for that stuff. <clears throat> Another thing I saw continuing on this open source thing that I've been the kick I've been on with like Odoo, oh, Open UI5, Apple mm -hmm. UI5, that kind of stuff. There is, they're coming, there's another group uh, emerging with an open source CRM. Now it's probably a little, as I started to look about it, it's a little bit different than what like us as like deep enterprise people think of as CRM. It's a little bit more like it feels consumery at the start. Mm -hmm. But the point is, is that it's open source and ready to go for like other people to continue building on, right? That has that same flavor of, of that Odoo stuff of like, the model's a bit different. The model can be ground up a little bit more for this stuff. So I'm going to look at it a little bit more. Maybe even install the. It's, if if you can go sorry, go machine. go back to that slide, it's funny. It says the startup world is littered with ghosts of so-called Salesforce killers. <laughs> <laughs> it's just super funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and this this could oh. be this could be something that has that same that kind of rhymes with that Odoo oh. flavor of, right, of like, there are established giant monsters in the space, mm -hmm. but there's place to play for like smaller people who want to have a different approach. And then the businesses who kind of rhyme with that. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I'm sure that probably somewhere down the path, there's like a plan for, we're going to open source this, but we're going to also offer a hosted version that you can pay for yourself and that kind of stuff. I'm sure there'll be that, but like, I want to kind of see that because I like the idea of a different approach to all this giant enterprise BS that we <laughs> deal with every day, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Finally, and this is, so I, I've talked about three or four here, probably uh, something's going to make the cut. Something's going to not make the cut here, mm -hmm. but I did, I kind of got curious about the SAP uh, blogs in the community there. Mm -hmm. So I whipped up a little scraper and I scraped about 800 blogs wow. from their recent blog roles, mm -hmm. which, as it turns out, is only like a month of blogs there. <laughs> so I might go deeper. But, like, it gets me curious because, like, it, in times past, I felt like I could – I don't mean to – I'm not trying to bag on the SAP here. I just, like, mm -hmm. in times past, I felt like I could, I could like – learn some new stuff by going out and reading the blogs. Mm -hmm. And it's been a little bit less of the case for that. Yeah. For me lately. It's not nothing. I do see things that I'm like, oh interesting. But it I feel like there's some noise happening. Both in terms of like it's mostly SAP people writing the blogs mm -hmm. and in terms of like the content that's kind of getting out there, right? So I, I don't know whether I'm gonna do anything for this issue, but I might drop this into a little SQL database that I can like do some better analysis on it. And mm -hmm. just cause I, I, I scraped like I scraped the tags and I scraped the categories. I scraped the number of comments and the number of likes, which, which is a, a can, small, just look can at be it. depressing if you yeah. look at it one at a time wow. here. Jeez. So like, it's a little, I mean, and again, I don't know what it looked like before I'll have to write a better scraper. Cause I used, I borrowed a tool for that. I mm -hmm. it. So I'll have to write my own that goes past mm -hmm. the 800 that I got. <clears throat> but it, it kind of has this flavor of like, what's what's being talked about lately? Mm -hmm. And what's the engagement like lately? Because I I think maybe it may not be the right thing for a corporation to have a strategy of we're going to communicate with the world via blogs. But it, it's totally can be the right thing to be like, we're going to, we're going to like round out our information mm -hmm. with blogs, or we're going to give like ancillary extra bits and pieces for our blogs. And we encourage our community to do the same thing here. And so that's just kind of why I want to look at this. And again, this is a low, I don't know if I'm going to do that for this issue or not, but like, I'm, so it's, I, I get curious about this stuff. It's you know? interesting. And I'm just, just looking at, at my own past blog. So I did not have a scraper, but um, I have actually written about um, about this issue a while ago, when there was, I think, migration to a new um, new SAP community uh, platform, 
and I had the same findings. I actually had some some information there. I, I'll find it. I'll send the link to you if you're oh, interested. Thank you. Thank you very so much. It, it has, greatly appreciate um, it. Yeah. I, again, I did just ma purely manual analysis. I got I got the list yeah. and then yeah, I got to just analyze blocks and specifically I think in our space and try to see number of engagements specifically because mm. um, you can write a nice blog if no one. Re replies no one reacts to it it's it's just discouraging yeah. you're not gonna write most likely anymore yeah. and there was really pretty yeah pretty depressing trends there and i it's just sad to see that it continues and there are still good blog posts on sap community but yeah. it's, it's just i feel it's nothing like it was before and it was really for a large part place for customers and partners and non-SAP employees to come together and share information. I think that space have been kind of lost to a large degree. So I, I don't yeah. even know where, where people go these days to, I, yeah, and to share like, this or if they do at all. I mean. My intent certainly is not to be like Mr. Complainy Pants yeah, about it. Like I, yeah. that's not my game here. Mm -hmm. I just want to kind of understand I mean, we kind of talked about this in our hot potatoes thing, right? Yeah. We're like, yeah. where is the action? These yeah, days? Where, where are people? Like, <laughs> where can I just go find what people are tinkering around with? Mm -hmm. You know, I got a few ideas there. I have a couple of ways that I'm plugged into that, but like it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's spread out and it's, you know, yeah. I have three or four Slack groups and some Twitter and Mastodon and whatever else, Blue Sky and stuff just that's kind of out there, but like, it feels sparse these yeah. days, I guess you could say. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But that's my stuff. So that's four or five things. I'll whittle it down to three <laughs> and, and put them in the newsletter. And there we go. Awesome. So pl pl place your bets now, folks. Which, <laughs> which yeah. cuisine will reign supreme? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right. So really, so uh, I'm I'm looking forward to actually reading what, what Paul is going to write. It's always a surprise to me. And I hope uh, you, <laughs> yeah, I hope you all will enjoy the next issue for a newsletter. Paul, sorry, any closing words from you, Paul? Well, I think part of what Yelena is referring to there is uh, I have a tendency to be, um, you know, those kids in school who like they did all their homework on the last day before it was due. I kind of have, I have a little bit of a bad habit of that with <laughs> when I write these things up. So Yelena is like, good student prepared nicely done nicely edited <laughs> and i'm like i've got my thoughts ready but not the writing ready and i have to kind of do it the last evening and that just is the way things have worked out for me i don't know that's, that's just the way my brain works so it's, um <laughs> it's it's not stupid if it works <laughs> yes, yeah it, 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 the, the pressure I guess, like makes it, yeah. scribbling on the school bus <laughs> on, the, on the way to school which i but i mean it, it doesn't matter how you get yeah. there. Everyone so, has their process. So, so yeah. and oftentimes as we put things together, like we have little placeholders for where I'm going to put my stuff. But like <laughs> I get to see Elena's stuff and she gets to be surprised when mine is like out in the issue already. <laughs> so that's just <laughs> that's you know, my, my biggest fear is that one day we're going to publish <laughs> newsletters that will have Paul put stuff here. <laughs> of those I know. And every but time, if, uh, if if we do readers now, you will know why. Yeah. Why this is this now happened? You, like, if you guys, if you hate the quality of our newsletters, you know who to blame. There you go. <laughs> uh, nothing, nothing to it but to do it. There you go. Awesome. Sweet. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. See you next Bye, time. Bye.